Hey folks, this is Ray from DC Raymaker. We're here in beautiful Les Arc in the French Alps doing a bit of recording and, and testing out of the DJI Phantom 4. Um, now, in all fairness, this is actually the third time we've tried this. Um, the first two times uh, sort of succeeded. We got the aircraft in the air. It followed me for about 10 yards. Um, so the first time, and the good news is that we're learning a lot from this. Uh, the very first time what happened was that uh, we were too close. So we put the aircraft out just a, a short distance there, and I basically kind of overtook it too fast. The second time, um, we didn't complete a complete circle around me. And that's something that really helps to recognize me as a, as a person, um, which is what we're here for. We're testing auto track. Uh, so you've seen some of my drone videos in the past where I go ahead and I have a small transponder or a transmitter on my person, and then it goes ahead and follows that down. With the Phantom 4, the way it works is it actually follows me, or in theory follows me anyways, um, by recognizing me as an object. Uh, so the way we do that is we go ahead and tap on the screen and choose me, and we go ahead and basically build this recognition of what I look like. Um, so on the second time, we didn't do a full loop around me, so as I headed down, it got to a different angle and it kind of lost what it looked like. Uh, so we're going to do that here in a second. So what's going to go on is I'm going to hand this over to David as soon as I take off the drone. Um, we're taking off by hand simply because the ground's not level here in the bag uh, is introducing some interference. Once that's done, I'm just going to put it out there a little bit, give it to him, and he's going to go ahead and enable the active track on me, and then I'm going to ski down and we're going to see how things go. Hopefully third time to charm. If not, then we pretty much give up. So with that, here we go. Okay, so it's up. I'll move it over here. And I move it back a bit. Okay, there we go. So at this point, I'm going to hand it over to David. He's going to get the active track all enabled and uh, get ready to roll. out there a little bit so it, it can distinguish you from me. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to hit the little button here that looks like a remote control. Then I hit active track. Then I click on Ray. It says aircraft too low, so I'll take the aircraft up a little tiny bit. Now it says okay. So I'm going to hit... So do I turn Ray before or after? B before I do it. Yep. Okay, so now I'll do a loop. Subject out of range. Okay. All right. So we go. I hit okay. Yep. Okay, Ray, off you go. Okay, here it goes. Ray, stop! It lost you. Okay, it's got you. Try again. Yeah. So you see it lost him there when he got too tiny. 
And now it thinks that it's a, uh, so I'm gonna hit stop so it doesn't fly into anything. Fly it back to me. Okay, so you saw me go ahead and go down that hill here. Now to give you some perspective on how long and how high that is, um, the watch has me at about 600 feet from the top of the lift, so uh, about 200 meters. Now we start a little below that, so we're looking at maybe 150 meters of vertical descent. Um, and it has me at about a third of a mile from the top of the lift, and a little bit below that again. So we're talking maybe three or 400 meters tops in terms of distance outbound, um, if that, not even that probably. Uh, and it struggled a little bit towards the end. And one of the reasons is because with the Phantom 4, what's happening is it's tracking me as that object as opposed to a transmitter on me. Um, so as I go down, it has to stay level because it's not following my altitude downwards. Uh, so eventually it just gets so far away that it can't see what I am anymore. And you saw it track onto that tree there as opposed to me. Um, now, obviously I don't look anything like the tree. I'm in bright red, it's in green. Um, so that's kind of limitations of the tracking systems of the Phantom 4. And now don't get me wrong, the Phantom 4 is an awesome drone for everything else on Earth except for tracking sports in action. Uh, so if you are going to head out and, and do that, I'd recommend first making sure you play with it a bit and understanding some limitations that we talked about earlier in terms of distance and doing a loop around the person. Um, and then just be aware that it's really a two-person operation. So David is helping me out do this. Um, you have to leave the remote somewhere. You can't take that with you. Um, so one of the other challenges as well. Uh, so with that, thanks for watching and keep tuned for more uh, videos on sports action cams as well as drones.